When you get your scorch marker, there will be two tips. The first is this bullet tip. The second is a foam brush in the back of the marker. When you first get your marker, make sure that the tip is pressed down on a paper towel so that ink can flow into the tip. It takes about a minute, and if it goes really slow, just open up the back to let some air in. Feel free to dip a paintbrush back here. Sometimes this tip can get beat up or dried out. That's okay. You can simply remove it, rinse it with water, and put it back in and it will work just fine. Now there's two different types of heat guns on the market. This is a crafting heat gun, also known as an embossing heat gun, and this is a commercial or industrial strength heat gun, typically used for peeling paint and shrinking wires. This one does not get hot enough to trigger the reaction with our scorch marker, so we can't use it. When using your scorch marker, please use a heat gun that has at least 1500 watts of power and gets really, really hot. You need to get the surface temperatures to 350 degrees in order for the change to take place. It's really easy to achieve wood burn projects like this, whether you decide to use a stencil with your scorch marker or whether you decide to freehand stuff. They both work great. Notice how some of these burn marks are darker than the rest, and that's because we applied more heat. You don't need more scorch marker to make it darker, you just need more heat, because remember, a little goes a long way. When you're using a stencil and your marker, make sure the stencil's pressed down really tight because we don't want the liquid to seep underneath and bleed, causing a blurry design. Here's the best type of wood to use with your scorch marker. Wood slices like these. They work really, really well. If you plan on using your scorch marker on a piece of wood like this, make sure you sand it first. We recommend sanding to at least 320 grit. If you're having trouble with bleeding or the design getting blurry on the edges, make sure you sand smooth and also let your scorch marker just sit on here for maybe 10, 15 minutes. Let it dry out a little bit before you heat it up with your heat gun. Don't forget to submit your craft projects to us. Every month we pick a crafter of the month. They get free stuff and features in our email list and all over our social media. We would love to see what you make with our products. All we wanna do is get better. So if there's anything we can do to improve or to make your life better, please let us know. Our mission is to make crafting easier. Happy crafting.